Now then guys, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me again. So as you can see on the screen there, our first Champions League group stage opposition is Dynamo Zagreb. Now the group has been, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's a little bit difficult as we've got Liverpool in there, Braga and Dynamo. Now Braga, I don't think they're a team that we've played before. Liverpool we have obviously, we've had mixed results against them. And Dynamo Zagreb, I'm not quite sure. Does it say that we have played them? We've played them twice and we've beaten them twice. So previous meetings, we had a 6-0 victory and a 5-1 victory. So fair enough, we have played them before and we have beat them. But we've got them up today. We have had a little bit of transfer business between episodes. So Luis Guilherme, as expected, has left us. He has gone to Leeds. He's now valued at 36.5 million, wowzer. But we let him go for £90 million, as that's what was in his release clause when we got him. We couldn't increase it. We couldn't do anything with it. We couldn't get him to sign a new contract, so we just had to accept. It was decent for us last season with 24 games played, two goals, two assists, a 7.14 rating. But yeah, unfortunately, he had to go. And then an unexpected transfer was Adam Dahl going to Wolves. Now, I did not see this one coming. Obviously, he's been out with a lengthy injury, but £33 million up front with add-ons, potentially 41.5 for him to go to Wolves. Now, last season, you know, he was incredible. 23 starts, 10 goals, 18 assists is absolutely mega. But he wanted to go, and, you know, I don't want to sell me Scottish players. I really don't. And, you know, 49 Castle Scotland, 7 goals. But he wanted to go, the offer was there, I let him go, and I let a player go that I was saying in the last episode we were weak out on that right hand side anyway. You know, we've got, Do well, we had Doyle, and we've got Van Ugin, who is always injured. So Dusak was another one who wanted to go. I've had to reject that for him, he's not very happy. We had a £40 million bid for him. It got to being finalised and I had to pull out because with Dahl going and Dusak going, I would have been up Shits Creek without a paddle, to put it politely. So yes, Adam Doyle has also gone. Schedule-wise, as you can see then, we've had a fantastic start to the season as expected. So we began it with a 3-0 victory away from home at Dundee United. 25 shots, 8 on target, 65% possession. Signorelli with a goal on 14, Court with a goal on 21, Balotieri on 33, and Signorelli had a goal disallowed on 67 minutes. Team performance-wise, decent. You know, they had a really poor game, and that formation is absolutely awful. But we ended up winning 3-0 that. A 5-0 victory at home against Tibbs. You know, what more do you want there? With Albanos getting a hat-trick there as well. He got goals on 6, 36 and 44. Signorelli with a goal on 15 and Hidalgo on 60. 51% possession. Even game on the ball. But yeah, 22 shots, 14 on target. We then beat Ross County 3-0 in the Betfred Cup. 34 shots, 17 on target. Albanos on 4. Balotieri on 29. Court on 44. Easy victory there. Then we struggled against Queen's Park, so a 2-0 victory, we had 21 shots, 9 on target, 59% possession, caught with a goal on 66, and only second on the 93rd minute, made it look more comfortable than what it was. We did struggle in this one, but we have now kept, what, 5 clean sheets in our first 5 league games, with a 2-0 victory against Aberdeen in there as well. So we had 23 shots, 15 on target, caught with 2 pounds in this one on 5 and 61. And then this was a game for Maxi Signorelli as he scored four goals. So 6-0 against Dundee with Signorelli getting goals on 4, 33, 81 and 88. And Ivole got a goal on 7 and Hickey with his first goal back at Hearts on 71 minutes. So naturally that puts us top of the league. We've scored 18 goals and not conceded one. Liette has got three clean sheets or two with two. So there we go. Signorelli top goal scoring in the league so far with six. Daryl Court with five. But four for everyone else has been really poor. As you can see there, Rangers have played five games. One, two, drawn three. Celtic exactly the same. One, two, drawn three. Motherwell in second place as it stands. So we've got that game against Dynamo now. Hopefully that form will continue and we'll get three points on the board nice and early. So game day then is we take on Dynamo Zagreb at home and Liverpool take on Braga. Team selection wise we're going to go with Ortiz in goal, Hickey, Hidalgo, Taksanowski and Wankwato at the back with Horoban and Jap in the middle, Hadidi and Van Ugin out wide and Court and Signorelli up front. So from the social round then Max Burns says Taksanowski starting good and Ian Westwood said Hadidi is starting and that's a terrible call. How can Hadidi start and be a terrible call? I'm going to tell him we're favourites for a reason, come on. How can Hadidi start with a terrible call? He's like one of the best players in the world and we've got him playing for us. You know, currently valued at over £100 million. Well, his bio clause is £132 million, so I'll take that. And we have a highlight then in the first, well, minute. First 10 seconds, Signorelli across and it's cleared away. Jap then picks it up. Juan Cuato, ball across, caught with the head and there you go, 1-0. Easy, game over, 24 seconds. I can afford to get carried away at the moment because we haven't played Liverpool yet. Now, Liverpool's going to be a right battle. 
but we are 1 0 up. Like I say, 24 seconds for court to score. And there's another highlight then on three minutes as one quat out to Van Usian. Van Usian, just don't get injured. Can you play 90 minutes without going off? Juan Cuarto with the ball in. Hadidi scores. There we go. 2 0 up on three minutes. What a start. Everybody backs off Van Usian as he manages to get the ball to Juan Cuarto. It's a deep cross and Hadidi, great finish in fairness. As there is a corner then on seven minutes. Juan Cuarto with the ball in. Hidalgo cannons it off the bar. It's kicked against him. And they get away with it as Hickey on the ball. Out to Juan Cuarto and it's gone. Big opportunity. We could have been 3-0 up then in 10 minutes. Juan Cuarto with the ball in. And I, I think that may be off the upright. It is. We've hit the woodwork again. Oh dear. Dynamo getting absolutely battered. As we have a throw in then. Juan Cuarto on the ball. All right, go on. Is he going to pull it back? I don't think he is. As the ball is in. Courtney's missed a sitter. Christ, we could have been 5-0 up in the first 20 minutes. As there's another highlight then. This is non-stop. Taskanowski down to Van Ushin. Great ball out wide to Hadidi. Should beat his man. Oh, he dives in Zubak on a yellow as well. Great challenge. Hadidi back in possession. To Horabine. To Jap. Caught on it. To Signorelli. Oh, it's a great finish. It's 3-0 on 18 minutes. Signorelli's seventh goal of the season. What a hero. You know, Signorelli was a player that could have potentially left us in the summer as well. But we didn't, you know, we, we pushed the offers away. We rejected them. And he's still with us. And the ball in is over the bar. Wow. They're getting absolutely fun. This is the most dominant I've seen us in ages. Ball across then to Van Ugen. Van Ugen, can he score? He's got it, hasn't he? There you go. 4-0 on 21 minutes. This could be 10-0 this one easily. Every time we attack, we look like scoring. And we have missed some sitters already. As Hickey down to Adidi. You know, and as soon as Van Ugen picks it up, he's direct, he's going for it. In fairness, he hasn't broken ankle, so <laughs> that's a win in itself. As Barcelona are 1-0 up against Juve. And there's another highlight, Hadidi down. Only 23 minutes gone in this game. Hickey across, ball into Van Ugen. Down to Jap, who scores, <laughs> get in! 5-0 odd on, the referee, he's, at, he's seen enough. What's he looking at? They are a check in a potential offside. Obviously, Jap was an offside. It's disallowed, so somebody must have been in the keeper's line of sight. Signorelli. Because Jap was on the edge of the area. Oh, dear. Harsh. Keeper wasn't getting to it. We've had 10 shots, 6 on target. And there's another highlight. Van Ugen then on it again. He's been good today. Currently on a 7.3 rate. And Signorelli picks it up. Big save from the keeper. And we have the corner then. Juan Quato. Ball in. Oh, it's a goal. Signorelli, get in. 5-0 now on 30 minutes. I actually feel sorry for Dynamo. I really do, because they, they can't do anything. Tactically, we are all over them. Ortiz has done nothing, absolutely nothing. And there's another highlight on 36 minutes. As it's down. Anik on the ball, enter Zubak. A ball through. They've got space there. Corrick goes back to Hopman. We need to just watch out we don't keep him on side. Hopman then to Anik. You know, the plane on the shoulder there is we're trying to nick it. Hopman's got nowhere to go. Go on, rob him as he doesn't. Dubicas. We need to be careful of that guy there. And there we go. Hiano. Oh, it's a great finish as well, you know. It's a great finish. Over the top of the keeper. And just as I'm saying, Ortiz has nothing to do. You know, you could see him playing on the shoulder. And it's a great ball through. And a cheeky little lob over the goalkeeper. Underside of the bar and in. 5-1 on 39 minutes. Barca still 1-0 up against Juve. We're going to go to half time at 5-1 then. Or are we? There's a highlight. As Juan Cuarto gets it clear. Anik on it. Don't let him have two shots on target and score both of them. Anik then to Hopman. We're playing very narrow. We need to stop that. It's off the top of the bar. Juan Cuarto is absolutely shot as well. So 5-1 at half-time. Had a little bit of a scare there. And very happy with the way you're playing. Tactically, you know, Balotelli for Juan Cuarto. Juan Cuarto on a 9.1, but he's shattered. So we're going to get him off. And there we go. Second half, let's go. As Barca now 2-0. A panic with a goal there against Juve. But we're getting into the hour mark. And we have done nothing in the second half. We haven't been as good as the first half anyways. Court picks it up. Hadidi then on the way. Caught on it. 
Oh, it misses out there. It's a poor ball. As Alvia picks it up. Why are we not out of that? As Van Ugin tackle. That's a great one. Jap. Van Ugin again. Ball across to Hadidi. Jap on it. Van Ugin go out wide. There's Balatieri. Swing a ball in. Needs to pick up well. Juan Cuato left off. Oh, he's been brought down. It's outside the area. Never in a million years. As the referees go into the TV to have a look. And the checking. I think that's outside the area myself. We'll have a look. Penalty awarded though. We'll take it. Signorelli stepping up for the hat trick. And he scores. There we go. Ninth goal of the season for him. And that is hat trick. Keeper goes right way. Great penalty. 26 shots. 12 on target. We, like I say, we are dominating in this one. So changes then. Ian McNeil is going to come on for Horribine. We'll swap those two guys around. And Dusak's going to come on for Van Ugen. We'll take him off now. So it's been a quiet second half then with 15 minutes left to go. Barca still 2-0 up against Juve. Right, McNeil doesn't get there. That's Corrick to Babic. Ball over, got to be ours. Hidalgo down to Adidi then. Are we going to hit him quickly? Signorelli through the middle. Can he round the keeper? He does. What a finish inside of the post. And then that's his 10th goal of the season for him now. And four goals. I think that's four goals in back-to-back -back games. What a hero. What a pass this is from Hadidi, though. Ball through. It's a great finish. Signorelli pulls the keeper one way. Inside of the post and in. Like I say, I'm sure he scored eight goals in two games. Two sets of fours. As there is another highlight then on 83 minutes. Hidalgo down to Hadidi. Ball out wide to Dusak. Dusak out to Balatieri. Right, go on. Swing that ball in. He's not... He's going across court and it's blocked and they stick it out for a throw-in. Balatieri then with the throw-in. Alvira away. Balatieri again. Look, Goodson's coming on. Won the penalty. Balatieri to McNeil. Dusak. Got to be on it. McNeil, get in. There's his first goal of the season as well. The substitutions today on point. As it's 8-1 now with six minutes to go. Like I said, I genuinely feel sorry for Dynamo because... They've tried their hardest, but we have just been another class. Another highlight then on 88. Hadidi down, Hickey on it to Jap. McNeil has a crack, it's blocked, caught there and the keeper makes a save this time. Fortunately for Dynamo, it's gone when I say fortunately. That was an absolute bloodbath, wasn't it, let's be honest. That was a bit of a let-off, should we say that? Well done, lads. Well done, what a performance. As 8-1 in our opening game, you can't ask for much more than that. As Anna Conway says, fantastic result. Defended well, attacked well. Just a brilliant all-round performance. I am, di I am disappointed that we didn't keep the clean sheet, but it is what it is there. Heart simply great is the headline. We get 2.46 million for the win. Classy Signorelli on form. You superb lad, well done. I've let go Madrid keeping tabs on a DD. You know, you're going to have to offer his release clause. 81 million is nowhere near enough. And Signorelli scouted by Chelsea. He's not going anywhere. Signorelli. You know, what a pre-season he had. Five starts, 14 goals. And he's got 10 in six starts. So in the other game then, Liverpool won 2-0 against Braga. Oristiano with goals on 20 and 51. And the group looks like this then, as we are top of the group. Just got goal difference. You know, far superior goal difference. As we take on Braga next. So where are you going to join me next then? I think for me we will come back for that Braga game. So we'll skip these Celtic and Motherwell games. We'll come back for the Braga one. Hopefully another three points on the board. Hopefully as conclusive as that one really. I'll take another 8-1 win. Well, I'll take an 8-0 if I'm completely honest. That would be better. But yes then guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, it's been emotional. I'll catch you in the next one. ta -ra.